Hello, grade 10. How are you? Today we will explain activity 3 in chapter 4. It is the neuron, a functional unit. Uh, we will start by this figure. This figure shows a deer escaping at the sight of a leopard. This indicates that there is a communication between the deer's eyes and its nerve center. You have to know that this communication occurs through a specific cells called neurons. What are neurons? A neuron or a nerve cell is an electrically excitable cell that communicates with other cells via specialized connections called synapses. It is the functional unit of the nervous system. So we have to know four main ideas. First, the neuron is a nerve cell, so I'm talking about only one cell. This cell is electrically excitable, and it communicates with other cells via synapses that we'll explain later. And this cell is the functional unit of the nervous system. Now, what are the parts of neuron? We can see that the neuron is formed first of a cell body. This is the cell body. The cell body is a typical cell. It has a nucleus, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, uh, and all the organelles that are found in any cell. The second part of the neuron are the dendrites. The dendrites are extensions from the cell body that receive information from other axons. As you can see here, the message is passing from the axon terminals of axon 1 to the dendrites of axon 2. Now, the third part is the axon. The axon transmits the nervous message from the cell body to the axon terminals. These are the axon terminals. And finally, the axon terminals are located at the end of the neuron and are responsible for sending the signal to other neurons, as we can see here again. Now, in this slide, we will talk about the pathway of a nervous message along a neuron. As you can see in this GIF, dendrites receive messages and transmit them towards the cell body. Whereas the axon, this is the axon, transmits the messages away from the cell body to the axon terminal. So the pathway of the nervous message is from the dendrites to the cell body to the axon and finally to the axon terminal. Classification of neurons. Neurons are classified into three types based on their function. The first type are sensory neurons. Sensory neurons respond to stimuli such as touch, sound, or light that affect the cells of the sensory organs. And they send signals to the spinal cord or brain. As you can see here, this is a sensory neuron. It is connected to the skin, which is a sensory organ, and it will change this stimulus into a sensory message and pass it to the spinal cord. The second type are motor neurons. Motor neurons receive signals from the brain and spinal cord to control everything starting from muscle contractions and ending by glandular output. This is the motor neuron, okay? And it is connected to the effector organ here is the muscle. The third type are interneurons. Interneurons connect neurons to other neurons within the same region of the brain or spinal cord. This is the interneuron. Here it is connected 
the it is connecting the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. Another classification of neurons according to the structure. So neurons are classified into unipolar, bipolar, and multipolar. Unipolar neurons or unipolar neuron is a neuron which gives off a single cytoplasmic prolongation that branches into two in the form of letter T. As you can see here, so we have only a single cytoplasmic prolongation and this cytoplasmic prolongation branches into two so as if we are writing letter T. Unipolar neurons mainly are the sensory neurons in our body. The second type are bipolar neurons. A bipolar neuron is a neuron that has two cytoplasmic prolongation. You can see here that from the cell body, this is the cell body, from the cell body we have two cytoplasmic prolongations. And these prolongations are from both poles of the cell body. The bipolar neurons are found mainly in our eyes and nose. The third type are the multipolar neurons. A multipolar neuron has multiple cytoplasmic prolongations. As you can see here, there are many cytoplasmic prolongations protruding from multipoles of the cell body. Mainly motor neurons are multipolar. We can see here in this slide that this sensory neuron is a unipolar. We can see here only a single cytoplasmic prolongation and the motor neuron is a multipolar. Now, the axon of a neuron can be myelinated or non-myelinated. Remember, we, to we talked about the parts of the neuron. We said that these are the dendrites, the cell body, and this is the axon. Now, the axon, it can be myelinated or non-myelinated. What we mean by that, the myelinated axon it has a myelin sheet wrapped around it. Myelin is a fatty substance that surrounds the axon of some nerve cells, forming an electrically insulating layer. We will explain later the nervous message that it is an electric signal, okay? So this myelin forms an electrically insulating layer. And the cell that form the myelin sheet is named Schwann cell. This cell, as you can see, it is wrapping its cell membrane around the axon. This cell is named Schwann cell. Now, the exposed parts of neurons, here you can see that between the myelin sheets, we have this part that is exposed, okay? These are called nodes of Renvier. They are called so because Louis and Anthony Renvier discovered them. He was a French physician, patho pathologist, and histologist. Now, we have to note that in a non-myelinated axon, The nerve impulse propagates step by step, as you can see here. So there is a slow propagation of the nervous message. Whereas in a myelinated axon, the nerve impulse propagates by jumping from one Ranvier's node 
to another. So there is a rapid conduction in the myelinated fiber. Okay? Note that the axon is also named a nerve fiber. Okay? So in a myelinated nerve fiber, as you can see here, the propagation of the nervous message is much faster than the propagation in a non-myelinated nerve fiber. Now, finally, the relation between the nerve and the nerve fiber or the axon, okay? We said that the nerve fiber here, it means axon. The nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers held together by layers of connective tissue. So as you can see here, these are the bundles of nerve fibers held together by a connective tissues. So this is the relation between the nerve and the nerve fiber. The nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers held together by layers of connective tissue. Please read paragraphs 1 and 2, page 72, on your textbook and try to solve this as a simple assessment. Uh, there are four slides. Try to solve them. And thank you.